We are gathered here together to give last rites to the American Harvester Dehydrator. It served uh, me many years. I will sincerely miss it. Look at that burn right through the plastic. So this poor baby is hitting the dust to make way for the new X caliber. Rest in peace. Sniff, sniff. Hello, everybody. Uh, today is Sunday, April the 18th. I uh, got my dehydrator. Uh, Friday. <laughs> this dehydrator, for one thing, was wider than I thought it was going to be. Let me turn on the light here. So I had to put it on top of my stove and then put a little shim, a little wooden shim underneath that leg there to hold it up on this side. But that aside, I have to tell you, I'm having a glass. Here's a typical tray. Uh, I got the nine tray. I've got them all filled up pretty much right now, except for one. I've been running it ever since I got it straight without turning it off. I'm finding so many things to dehydrate. But here's some nice little poly screens that they send to you. You get nine of those and those are cut exactly to fit. Now if I need more it seems to me I could go down to my local fabric shop and find something like this. Uh, I'll have to look around and find out. But okay cool thing the door just lifts right up. There's your door closed. Oh and it just lifts right up. There's this little ledge that it fits into right there. And here's what I've got in my dehydrator right now. I've already taken out some stuff, but I have this fruit roll up. This is strawberry yogurt with orange jello gelatin in there. And I'll be taking this off today. It really should have been taken off a couple hours ago, but I fell asleep. And I have this. This is granola. And this is, uh, I'll get you the recipe for this granola. I took a recipe off the internet, but then I added, it was, let's see, I had two cups of instant oats, uh, one half cup of regular table sugar, one whole cup of raisin, one-fourth uh, cup of corn syrup. Now the corn syrup I used as a substitute for the agave nectar because I have never bought agave nectar. And then you're supposed to put cinnamon and flaxseed in it. I did not put cinnamon or flaxseed. But I didn't have flaxseed. I had cinnamon but I just plain forgot. It did not call for nuts. I put in a half a cup of nuts. And as a substitute for the orange juice, I put in a lemon, a quarter cup of lemon juice concentrate to a three quarter cup of water. And then to make it a multigrain, because I really like my, my uh, the stuff I eat to be multigrain, I added one coffee scoop size of barley flour. If you remember from one of the other videos about multigrain pancakes, they use this coffee scoop. This little scoop that came out of a coffee can. And I just took one scoop of that barley flour and add, just sprinkled that over the top of that granola mix. And I put in a one tablespoon of peanut salt. This salt is what I use to um, season up my raw peanuts. Either when I cook it in the oven or I let them soak in water and I sprinkle this peanut salt over. If there's any left I dry it and I put it back in. So it has a bunch of little peanut. All those little peanut coverings, all those little brown speckles are the peanut uh, off of the peanuts. They're skin probably. But anyway, it's sort of flavored like peanut and I didn't want to waste the salt so the granola is a perfect way to use that up. That's looking mighty good. I can't wait to try that. 
Now, if you notice, this is one of those round trays from the Nesco uh, American Harvester Dehydrator, the American Harvest Dehydrator uh, tray. But it fit right inside of the of the, this one, so I didn't have to buy. I still need to buy a few more of the flat ones. This is the one that came with the free because of the special offer that's going on this month. This flat one, it goes all the way across. This is their special, oh, what do they call it, Paraflex. Uh, I have heard people wondering if maybe it's Teflon, but anyway. I got two of those that came with dehydrator. I thought, well, why can't I just use mine from my American Harvester? That's what I've done. It fits from side to side and back to back. That granola looks pretty good. There's another tray of the granola. Because I did a, that, that recipe I gave you, Duke does the whole bag. Now, this is was canned cheese. <clears throat> canned cheese. This was cheese that was canned. And I, of course, can't use that much, but I could freeze it. And I thought, well, I'm going to dry it and see how it turns out. Well, it turns out, uh, it, it did crisp up. It's got plenty of oil in it. When I bag these up, these are all going inside of the freezer because of uh, the oil that's still left on them. You can see the oil on the sheet. I, if I put paper towel down on there, that'll soak that up. Now, this horrible looking thing <laughs> is actually not horrible at all. This is canned um, chili con carne. This is a big can of chili con carne. There it is. The chef made chili con carne. That came past due in my pantry. There's no way I can eat it off. Again, I could take it out of the can and freeze it. And I thought, why not dehydrate it? Now, from what I can see from the top, it is crisping up. All this dark stuff on the top. And then when I open up the bottom, it looks moist on the bottom, that lighter brown. So I'm going to cook this over and do the other side. This is the same stuff, but it's been in there for longer. If you notice, it's really crisp and dry. That's ready to come out. And I have a little helper to taste test it, it looks like. Hi, hi, hi Salsa. Oh, she knows what that's about. Okay, you sit nice. That's good. You want a piece of chili con carne? You go drink some water with that. We're eating dehydrated food, so you need to drink water. Yeah. Oh, Princess wants some, too. Hi, Miss P. This is Princess. Share. Salsa, share. Princess gets them. There you go. Oh, <laughs> these two girls are sisters. <laughs> you can probably see the family resemblance. So this needs to come out. It says to let the products cool. And we're, just, we're gonna slide the lid back on. I gotta find something more to dehydrate. And that lid just fits right back on there. So this is the Excalibur uh, 3900. Uh, I didn't get the one with the timer and spend the extra money for that because when I'm dehydrating, I'm going to be here anyway. And I also like to stick my nose in and make sure that it's doing the way it should. So I'll be here for that anyway. I got a little piece of uh, parchment paper ready for my jerky. One of the gals in my uh, uh, talk group last night was talking about uh, dehydrating frozen items. This was uh, some fresh spinach that I had frozen in water. I uh, ran it under a little water to thaw out and then um, uh, put it on the sheet. It was still pretty wet. Okay, here's the leaves. This is after uh, probably 10 hours of dehydrating. Okay, there's the leaves. They're ni some are nice and crunchy. The stems are still kind of moist. On YouTube, there's a, a lady, I can't think of her name right now, but I'll put it up when I put the video up. That goes into a whole thing about buying de uh, frozen food by the bag and then dehydrated. And pretty much she just puts it right on the tray after she gets the main frost chunks out of the way and cuts them down to if they have to, like cauliflower to size. But the nice thing about this is that you don't even have to have it cut down the size as far as that goes because you can take out a tray anytime and they give you the height you need which is great you can take out all the trays except for one and it's, it, there's a, and the cookbook says you can even proof your bread 